A history contemporary art from the Centre Pompidou is really looking at the developments in art history or in art since the 1980s until today. I would say that A history is a fragment. It is a fragment of the Centre Pompidou's collection. It is a fragment of an artist's oeuvre because, of course, each work opens a window, if you like, to a multiple other works that the artist has created. It is, it's a moment in time, and in a sense, this exhibition is a moment in time. It's about going back to the practice of the artist and giving some clue about how the artist works, uh, rather than doing a chronological or geographical analysis. I, I went into the works themselves to find a common uh, ground. The axes of the exhibition are called the, the artist as an historian, the artist as an archivist, uh, the artist as a producer, uh, etc. Because uh, I want to show that uh, the artist position himself uh, also uh, intellectually, and uh, that his practice is uh, affected by this position. You have some works from the 80s. Uh, that uh, are at the beginning of the exhibition. You have a big work of Hans Sacke, one of uh, Jean-Michel Basquiat, and they both deal with slavery and the uh, link between the economy and the finance and the art. So they are two very political work that I wanted to have at the beginning of the show. Uh, to phrase also an history that would be a bit different from the uh, Occidental point of view and uh, to open also to many countries that you discover in the main hall, like you have Chinese artists, Cuban, Turkish, uh, Iranian, so it's a, it's a very open vision of the world of today. We have this uh, big piece of Wilfredo Prieto, the Cuban artist that deals with the consumerism and also with uh, with a certain kind of uh, political background in Cuba. We have a work of Thomas Hirschhorn that deals with the images of the media uh, and terrorist acts in the world, a sort of disease that affects the earth that you can see on these globes with the scotch. And it deals with uh, the globalization, it deals with the political situation of the world, and the consciousness of the artist and his responsibility. So for me, it's a, it's a sort of paradigmatic work. If you look at the exhibition, of course, you will have an image of the world uh, of the last uh, 30 years because uh, of the concern of the artist toward what has happened since the end of the 80s that is very visible in the artwork. So you cannot separate uh, the art with the history. I think this exhibition is a great opportunity to really see, of course, fantastic works of art from an amazing collection named the Centre Pompidou. And I think it also gives you an overview perhaps where contemporary art has been going since the 1980s and perhaps to understand the different thematics, the different ideas that artists have been working with, but in a global way. And I think this is what's actually is in a sense the key.